Hey guys, Izzy here with Donnie FL. Today we got a couple of treats for you guys. Um, we're going to be working on the Leshy 2. Uh, we've been getting a lot of requests about what we, what do we have to offer for this air gun. So today we're going to be going through a couple of things. Um, so those of you that don't know what a Leshy 2 is, uh, this is a Leshy 2. It's from a company called Airgun. It is a semi-automatic. It's a eight round, 25 caliber magazine. Um, today, we're going to be adding an attachment to the front piece for suppression. Uh, actually, about four different configurations. So, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of things here. Um, first one is an extender. Uh, this one here is for the 250 millimeter barrel. So if I recall correctly, the Leshy comes with a 250 millimeter barrel and there's an optional 350 millimeter barrel as well that comes separate with it, but you can get it. Um, so we got two sizes. This one here is for the 250. This one here is for the 350 millimeter barrel. Um, a lot of people are going to ask, do these have baffles inside? They do not have baffles inside. These are actually expansion chambers. Um, so what happens in these, when you take that shot, um, this chamber here fills up with the high amount of pressure that comes out of the air gun. Um, and then it, as that pressure is dropped, it vents into the suppressor. So the suppressor goes in front of it. Very similar to our extender that we have for the Ronin and the Emperor. Uh, but we made it specifically for the Leshy. So we're going to be going through how to install these and show you what it looks like with it and without it. This one here is a 250 millimeter barrel on this one. So we don't have the 350 millimeter barrel, but I can still put this on there and show you guys what it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to start taking this shroud off here. Um, but yeah, so let me just put this, take this magazine out, and we're going to disassemble this so we're safer so we have no air being put through this system here. So we're good. So there's no pellet inside the barrel at all. We're going to be removing this here. Um, I do have a koi underneath this shroud as well. So let me get some tools out right here. And I believe we're only going to need this one out of that one, so put that away. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and disassemble the shroud off of this one. Alright, so I've got one more screw to go. Normally, the Leshy 2 has different varieties of shrouds. Some of them don't have a shroud, some of them do. Um, so, there's that. There you see the koi threaded directly onto that barrel, so we're going to go ahead and remove that. Um, normally this barrel on the Leshy is a M14 by 1.25 thread on them. Uh, as you can see the thread there. Um, if you don't want to add this whole setup here, you can thread directly on the barrel. Um, so what we're going to do now, we're going to remove this front piece here. This front piece is what allows this handguard, shroud, whatever you guys want to call it, uh, it allows it to attach to the gun itself. Uh, but we do not need that at the moment, so we're going to go ahead and remove that. Alright, and just so you know, this is a 25 caliber Leshy. Um, these kits will work all the way up to 30 caliber. Um, yeah, so there you go. Now we got that piece off. Um, what we're going to do now, uh, each one of these is going to come with a cap. And there's two holes on it. Uh, you're going to have two screws when you receive it as well. Uh, these are not exactly centered. Uh, this cap will only go in one way. So if you put it in and you're trying to push it in, it doesn't snap in. All you have to do is you rotate it and it falls right in place. So if you're having issues, turn it. It should drop right in place. If it doesn't fall in place, get a hold of us. We'll get it sorted out. Um, but yeah, so that's how that cap goes on. 
and we add our screws on there these are stainless steel screws so they will not corrode or rust on you which is a really nice thing we don't want corrosion or rust in any of our air guns so yeah and get that on there the cap is the same for both sizes so for the 350 and the 250 millimeter barrel um, it's the same cap for both of these so if you want to add this on there you don't even have to take that cap off you want to switch it over to the other one same thing um, so if you want to do a barrel swap you swap the barrel out without even removing this so what we're going to do now um, since this is a 250 millimeter barrel we are going to go with the one that fits on it we're going to put it on i'm going to put a suppressor on it for you so you guys can see what it looks like um, and then we're going to put the other one on there like i said it's not the 350 millimeter barrel but it will fit all right so pretty much all you got to do is you thread it on nice snug you don't need to go super crazy on it um what i like doing is I'll look through the barrel just to make sure that everything is centered with the bore here. If you look through the barrel and you start seeing one of the edges either up on the top, bottom, left or right more than the other, um, then you're probably going to have an issue. But this one right now, it's pretty dead on. I can't see none of the sides off of it. Um, so we should be good. Um, so now that we got that on there, we're going to be adding our Ronin. So this is a 2530 Ronin. Like I said, this is a 25 caliber. Um, with this being so dead on centered, uh, you should be okay using the 2225 with no issues at all. But we do highly recommend going up to the 2530 just to reduce the chance of clipping if anything ever goes out of alignment. So we're going to go ahead and put that on here. There we go. All right, so that's how that looks with the Roman. I'll put this stock on so you guys can see what it looks like all the way on. All right. I'm not going to put the magazine in. There is four rounds in it, so I'm not going to put that in. But you can see how that looks. It still folds the same way. That's it folded. Um, yeah, so I'm going to say folded is approximately... The 18 inches is what I'm going to guess at. Um, so that's what that looks like with that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this Ronin. I'm going to put the other extender on. There's probably going to be a couple of things I call this. going to be extender, adapter, uh, expansion chamber, same thing. All right, so we got that, on, that one off. I'm going to put the longer one on. The longer one, obviously, it is going to make it longer. You could use the longer one on the 250 millimeter barrel. Um, it'll it'll still suppress it very nicely. Um, and again, I'm just going to check to make sure that the alignment on there is dead on, and it's still pretty much dead on on there. Um, so that's that on there. I'm going to add that rolling onto the top. All right. Look at that. So that right there is with the Ronin on. I don't know if you guys can see it all there at that angle there. Um, folded, I'm going to say this thing is, uh, I'm going to say probably about 22, 24 inches long um, with that additional length on there. Um, but yeah, so that's what that looks like. That's how it's mounted on this thing. Um, that's pretty much it so hopefully you guys are ready for this uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns uh, feel free to email us uh, there's a contact us uh, link in our website uh, ask us our questions we'll answer them as soon as possible thank you very much guys and have a good day